Okay, let's see if we can do a little painting now. The first thing I've done is I've grabbed Skip's sharp pencil. I'm going to add uh, a new layer, not a watercolor layer, but a regular layer. I'm on black. Uh, no, I'm not. Let's go to a dark color. And holding my shift key down, that allows me to make a straight line. I can make a straight horizontal line, a straight vertical line, or a straight diagonal line at 45 degrees holding down the shift key. So now I'm going to grab a brush and I'm going to get uh, my very wet 06 uh, brush from Cool Spring. I'm actually using an 06A and that brush uh, has a different dab than the 06 that you have, which is a little more texture-like, but it, it'll work just as fine. Okay, so I'm going to select a very light blue, like about like that, and we'll come in and begin to apply this blue up here, and maybe indicate that there's some cloud structures around. Not I'm not trying to Im indicate cloud structures like the flow map is going to indicate, but I'm just leaving white areas where we can, uh, you know, where, uh-oh, <laughs> sorry about that. Let's uh, undo. Make sure I've undone. Yep, I've undone. Okay, we want to put on pause diffusion. And now we want to go back to that light blue, make sure that's what I'm using. And we'll put in some of that. And like I said, we'll kind of indicate that there's some other clouds here. Okay. Don't forget that pause diffusion when you're doing this sort of thing. Now, I want to make sure that the flow goes completely from one side to the other. So I'm covering up this white. Otherwise, I might get some lines up there, and I don't want those lines. And I'm adding a little bit of this Naples yellow, uh, or kind of a warm yellow, to give a little definition to the clouds a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to come in with a bit of a darker color and come back up here to the top and just reinforce. And that's a little bit too gray. Let's see if we can get a little bit bluer. That's still pretty gray. Let's take those two off. And we'll go up here and see what that gives us. That's better. It's still gray, but it's a blue-gray, which is more like what we would see in the sky. <laughs> okay, so all I'm doing here is just putting in a little of this darker color to uh, hopefully give us a little more indication of something happening up in the top. All right, now I want to go back to my blue, but a kind of a midterm blue. And I want to really pick up some color happening in here. Like this. And I'm going to take a little of this gold and put that in there. Like that. Then I want to put a little of this brown red. Ooh, that's a little bit too red. Let's go. It should be a purpley red. That's better. Put a little of that in there. And let's go with a little bit of this yellow. Just a tad. Now I'm going to take some of this nice purple and put in there. Come back with a little bit of that blue. Now I want to come in with a darker blue, green. 
And I really want to come in with some dark color now. About like that. Okay, so let's, uh, I think we're ready. We've got our, uh, we, we want to go back to, we want to go to Desert Tsunami now. And we're going to Desert Tsunami because that's the, the flow that I want to, the, the property of flow that I want to use with this uh, flow map. I want to make sure, go to real watercolor and make sure flow map is selected. Everything else is okay. Let me set this back to its standard. If we set it back to its standard, the flow resistance is about 51, and I'm going to leave it there. Uh, settling rate and weight, those are kind of low, so that means that the this is going to be a lighter color than what you're seeing here. So let's go ahead and take off uh, Pause Diffusion and let her run down the page. Uh-oh. See what happened? I went back to current paper. I wondered why it wasn't showing. Well, now, if you make a mistake, you can click on your uh, Pause Diffusion. You can go back, edit, undo brush stroke, and that will take one of the brush strokes away. So you, if you know what that was, you want to go back to that brush, that's the very wet 06, and you want to add that color back in. There we go. That's, that's the color I wanted anyway to begin with, so it's a good thing I did what I did. And let's go in and put some of this brown in here, like that, and I want to put a little more of this dark blue up here. Okay, that's better. Now we want to make sure we want to go to Desert Tsunami, and uh, it's at its original, but I want to take it to Flow Map. That's what messed up when I went back and reset it. It set it up to current paper, and I needed it to be on Flow Map. Okay, so everything is the same. This is Desert Tsunami, and nothing has been done to the brush except use Flow Map. Okay, so we take off the Pause Diffusion and let her run and hopefully she'll be pretty. Yeah, that's looking nice. It's giving some variations here, and it's kind of a, a bit of a cloudy look up there. It's not quite as dark as I would like. I would rather it be a little bit darker. So I'm going to put on Pause Diffusion again, undo the brush stroke, come back with... Um, I'm going to take my settling rate up on my Desert Tsunami up to about, it looks like 95, and I'll take this up to about 50, 55, somewhere around in there. Okay, now we're going to, um, I think we've got enough color in here. Well, actually, I would like to have that brown back in there. So I'm going to come back to my Very Wet 06 brush. And I'm going to grab that kind of brownish color that I had. And put that back in there a little bit. And then go back to that really dark blue. I love that dark blue. Okay. <clears throat> Got a little of that in there, so now what we want to do is go back to Desert Tsunami. Now when you change categories, sometimes the brush will go back to its original setting. It didn't this time. We're still on, uh, if I move this over to the side, we're still at the original settings, but with the settling rate up and the weight up, and we're on flow map. Okay, so now when we go Pause Diffusion, we should get darker colors in the center. Well, everywhere, actually. Now, remember, you can always stop the flow if you need to, but I, I don't want to stop the flow. I want it to be, yeah, kind of like that. That looks sort of interesting to me. Now, I don't want this dark stuff down here. Uh, so what I'm going to do is switch to an eraser, and I could use a, uh, a, a, a 
uh, <laughs> I forgot what they're called, layer mask. <laughs> All right, I'm going to hold the shift key down and come across this and begin to erase it. And that will give me a nice straight line there. We'll take this off here. And uh, what I'm going to do now is go to... Um, I'm going to go to my real wet watercolor uh, two brushes. And I'm going to go to a brush called um, Cloud Puff, just a brush called Cloud Puff, okay? And I'm going to have it at its standard setting, and I'm going to take the color up to white, make sure I'm on white. And I'm going to make it smaller than this. And what this is going to do is it's going to make clouds out of this layer here. As I paint, it doesn't look like it's doing anything. But let go and let the pause diffusion work and you'll begin to see this kind of cloud-like look here. So if I come back with that same brush and I put it in, I'm going to get, pick up some of the color and again begin to get these sort of cloud shapes in here. I just wanted to make these a little bit more cloudy looking than what they were to begin with. Make this a little bit bigger this time. And we'll come in here and put in some cloud shapes. Okay, now let's see, I come back again, all on the same layer, and we're beginning to get these little bit of cloud shapes going in there. And uh, that's kind of helping what the flow map did. I'm also getting some light and dark in here, which is kind of what I want as well. We'll make this a little bit smaller again. That will allow us to come in and make smaller little blobs. Like that. All right, so I think I want to make this stuff up here kind of go away. And uh, there we go. Yeah, so that it blends up into the clouds above. Yeah, there we go. Now we can come up here and just make a few cloud marks like that. See, and that just again brings our and I want to take this down a little bit more so it brings that over the top of these clouds in the bottom okay that's about as far as I want to go with the clouds at the moment and in my way of thinking they may be a little bit too strong and if they're too strong we'll lighten them a little bit this line right here is too dark made me look at it okay there we go